Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for i5 for the iPhone is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This episode of i5 for the iPhone is brought to you by Shutterstock.com. With over 28 million high quality stock photos, illustrations, vectors, and video clips, Shutterstock helps you take your creative projects to the next level. For 25% off your new account, go to Shutterstock.com and use the offer code i51113. Welcome to i5 for the iPhone, episode 64. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? This is the Fine Fine Show where we scour the app store and we find tips and news and tricks and, and we get a bunch of suggestions from you and we make a great little 10 minute show and I'd like to start that show right now. Number one, let's start off with a duh tip from Sergio, who lives in Midtown Manhattan. Thanks for being very specific, Sergio. And wants us to get the most out of our native calendar app. He writes, I've heard many people complaining about calendar on iOS 7, not having a list view displaying events within a day like calendar had in iOS 6. A lot of users have turned to apps like Sunrise, which is a wonderful app for this. But what if you want to stick with the native calendar? Just open calendar and then look for the magnifying glass icon on the top right hand corner of your screen. Tap it and voila, you have a list view with events a la iOS 6 calendar or similar to sunrise. Thank you, Sergio. Great tip. And it actually wasn't totally apparent to me. I had just never thought of clicking it. So hopefully it'll help a few of you out there too. By the way, I agree that sunrise is a great alternative calendar app. Although, these days my heart belongs to another, which brings us to... Number two. One of the biggest design overhauls in iOS 7 is the calendar. But it doesn't really affect me that much because I'm already loyal to a third-party calendar app called Fantastical. Been using it for over a year. I have sung its praises here on i5 before. Well, Fantastical got a nice design overhaul of its own, and I love it. So I think it's time for you to love it too. Here's what's new. So those of you who religiously write down reminders for yourselves will now see your events and dated reminders together in the main list. Very helpful since often my reminders are date and time specific or even geo specific. You can also add reminders either from the reminders list or a new event screen and the reminder will populate in the reminders app as well. When you create a new reminder, you can start with something like reminder or to do or task or remind me to and Fantastical will understand you. So for example, remind me tomorrow at 3 p.m. or alert one hour before or alarm 3 p.m. Those would all work fine. Just kind of depends on what you're most comfortable with. You've got a nice new map view for location-based events. You have better repeating options for events that are happening a lot over time. Landscape view is improved, supports the built-in calendar app, including iCloud, Google Calendar, and Exchange. And Fantastical 2 is localized in English, French, German, Italian, and Spanish, which means that you can just type or speak your event or reminder in any of these languages and Fantastical will automatically understand you. It's currently $2.99 in the App Store, but the price is going to go up to $4.99 soon. This is a limited offer because it's new. So if you want it, now's the time. Number three. Hey, speaking of other languages, Charles has a great little duh tip for those of us struggling to read in other languages. He writes, did you know that you can choose different selections of dictionary languages? All you have to do is highlight a word and choose define. Then tap manage and you can see varieties of dictionaries in multiple languages. Now I love this trick. So say you're trying to make sense of some story com coming out of China or whatever language. Or if you're like me, I'm just always trying to read French here and there because I like to think that I can but I need a lot of help with unfamiliar words. Why not turn on some of your international dictionaries and get more out of that feature? This episode of i5 for the iPhone is brought to you by Shutterstock.com. At Shutterstock, you'll find the perfect image or video for your next creative project. Whether it's for a website or an advertisement, you're putting together some awesome video, any type of project, you can choose from over 28 million high quality stock photos, 
illustrations, vectors, and video clips. Shutterstock reviews each image individually for content and quality before it even gets to the library. So every time you visit, you'll find something new and awesome. Flexible pricing as well, and they make it really, really easy. In fact, they recently partnered with Facebook to provide advertising customers free access to all those images through Facebook's ad creation tool. Sophisticated search as well. You can search by subject or color, file type, Maybe you're looking for a particular gender. You just want women in your next video. Emotion. And then there's shareable light boxes. So if you're working with a team, you can save images you think that they'll love to a light box gallery. And then you can access them anywhere. And so can your team and share them with other team members. An award-winning iPad app makes it really, really a joy to search through Shutterstock. You can search on the go, use it to display images during presentations. Sky's the limit. You can also try Shutterstock today just by signing up for a free account. You don't need a credit card. Just start an account for free and start using Shutterstock for your next project. Save some images to a light box to review later. Once you decide to purchase, use the offer code I5 Eleven thirteen. So that's I F I V E one 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 three. And new accounts will receive twenty five percent off any package. That's Shutterstock.com. And for twenty five percent off new accounts, use the offer code I five eleven thirteen. And we thank Shutterstock for their support of I five for the iPhone. Number four, Kali writes in with a question about ye old iOS weather app, specifically. Why is there always a 0% chance of rain? Kali says, I use my weather app all the time. And I'm wondering why that percentage never changes. Even when it's sprinkling in Bellingham, Washington, it's telling me that there's a 0% chance of rain. What am I missing? Cluelessly yours. Well, Kali, just going through some of my saved cities, because I like to make sure I know what the weather's like in places that I'm not, like Miami and Paris, you can see that the chance of rain isn't always zero. In fact, it's supposed to rain in both of those places. And yes, it does seem a little odd that it would be raining in Bellingham with zero percent chance of rain. I think what's going on is that chance of rain indicates that you're looking into the future. And in that case, in the weather app, the future could be as little as 30 minutes from now, but it's still the future. So if it's raining in Bellingham now, but the weather app sees that clearing, I think that's where you're gonna get the no chance of rain statement. Similarly, a 2% chance of rain in Paris indicates what may happen later, not what's happening right now, because it's not raining there, at least in my app. So hopefully that clears things up. And if anybody has a better weather breakdown to help keep our friend Kali from walking around with wet shoes, let us know at i5 at Twitter. Finally, number five. Oh, I have waited for this the entire show. If you'd like to scare some of your Facebook friends, I've got an app for you. It's called Nudifier, and it's exactly what you think it is. You just take a photo of yourself or someone or something, and then choose the skin tone from someone's face, and then draw that tone in to make it appear as if that same skin tone is making its big debut somewhere else. Then you save it, and then you share it, but it's not really nudity because it's all pixeled out. See, it's just a joke. You add it to one of the app's built-in magazine covers if you want to. The app says it's great for work, home, and political rallies, which is very, very baffling. But yes, it's easily the stupidest thing I've ever shown you here. I had a lot of fun with it over the weekend, and I want you to have fun as well, because tis the season. And if there was any question, Nudifier is free. Tis also the season for TWIT's annual audience survey. We'd love to get your feedback and have you participate. Just go to twit.tv slash survey and let us know what you think. Only takes a few minutes and is completely anonymous. Your feedback will help us make TWIT better. And we thank you for your continued support. Ever see or hear of a great app or trick here on i5 and you want to go back over it or pass it along to a friend? If so, you can also hop over to our show notes at twit.tv slash i5. That's where all of our links live and also where you can subscribe to the show with a feed of your choice or add it to your favorite podcast app. Email us at i5 at twit.tv, leave us a voicemail at 614 on i5, or send us a video with an app review of your own. I'm Sarah Lane, this is i5 for the iPhone, and I'll see you all next week. Oh, and happy 10th birthday to my pal Jackson. Thanks for watching.